under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. Major League Baseball on the Show is next. Bob Torres, the Brazilian-born pitcher, is on the mound to start here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? This guy has a three-pitch mix, and he needs all three of his pitches. If he has them all working and uses them properly, he has a chance to be very effective. Into the box, Cesar Hernandez. And we are set for baseball here this evening. For Philadelphia, the second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. First offering on its way. First of three here to start the week as the game's first pitch is taken for strike one. Well, boys, these Braves, as they take the field here tonight, despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they'd been on a nice little roll here. Yeah, Matty, these players got in their cars today to drive to the stadium, focused on one thing, not who was going to be the hero, just the fact that they needed a W and that one of their teammates, whether it's them or someone else, has to come up with a big knock. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring in Gene Segura. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball of no strikes. Torres is coming off a win in his last start. The first of his major league career. So I'm sure he's still riding high from that achievement. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Popped up. And there's out number two. Batting third. The center fielder. Mark Whippenshaw. Now at the plate, Mark Withenshaw. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the pitch. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, well, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. So let's take a peek at our umpire and crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Hey, behind the dish, d row Larry Bullard. Pretty standard guy, works it. Only problem, th I think, at times, hitters have a little bit difficult time. He'll give a little bit on that inside corner and outside corner. Not very consistent. Yeah, but Larry's approachable. That's the one thing. If you turn around and say, is that as far as you're going on the outer half, he's usually going to tell you. And he fouls this one off. Hit out towards second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four-hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but any time you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Throw over to the bag, back in standing. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Withenshaw, the runner at first with two gone. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two.
the 2-0. Two and two now. Has a look, now the pitch. And there he goes towards second into the corner and slicing foul. Now a move over to first and the runner back in standing. Now another 2-2. Two -two. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. One left for Philadelphia. It's the Phillies nothing. Braves coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Irvin gets the starting assignment for the Phillies. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, when you look up the definition of rock solid for a starting pitcher, this is your kind of guy. Career ERA under three, just knows how to get it done. Controls the running game, limits the amount of damage, and more importantly, he knows how to win. And that's why it's going to be fun to watch him work in this one here today. At the plate, Ender Inciarte. It'll lead things off here in the bottom Ender. half of the first. In the Now here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. In there, strike two. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Get down the line at first, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, guys, this is a dangerous team right now. Game one of a new series coming off a sweep. Everybody's feeling good. Swinging the bats red hot. This should be interesting. Fouled away. A swing and a miss and he's behind one and two back-to-back -back strikeouts in the first right here pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone one out nobody on and he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two and that misses there so he runs the count full now to be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. 
If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Now the three and two pitch. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one out walk here in the home first. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, that it's better to battle a Double slugger three. like that to the end and end up Ready. walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. He had a triple in the game yesterday, finishing one for four. Before the first pitch, a check at first. And the runner back safely. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. Throw over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. A ball and a strike now to the Braves' first baseman. He's running. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Not in time as he steals second. I think coming into this series, they knew he was one of the guys that were going to have to keep quiet. But he's setting the tone right here in the first with the steal of second. He could end up being a big factor. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Yank the slider across that time. Laid off for a ball. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The 2 2 one more time. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Acuna digs in now as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Ball. Two and oh. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Two out here and a runner at second. Too high. And it's three and oh. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Strike swinging. Chased a high one there. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. It's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. He set the 3 2. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for Atlanta. We are still scoreless. All set for the start of the inning. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Number 22. First pitch of the at-bat. 
Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. That is it. The third baseman, Marwin Gonzalez. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. First offering on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Inciarte is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. That is that. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. No score here as we play inning number two. To two balls and two strikes now. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. So a two out knock and we'll go a little deeper into the top of the second. The tag and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Last half of the second set to go. And that'll bring up the big RBI bat of Marcelo Zuna. First delivery to him on the way. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Made him look silly with that one. Slider. Ooh, thought he had him, but it's one and two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Popped him up. Hernandez backs up a bit, and he takes charge for the first out. Batting, Johan Camargo. First pitch of the at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball? Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Bases are empty, one man out. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. To the plate now, number nine. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. 
Bottom of the second here with no score. Good changeup, and it's 0-2. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Down in order go the Braves. We'll move to the third with no score. Top of the third set to get underway, and now it'll be the catcher, Omar Narvaez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. The 1 0. 1 and 1 the count now. Now the pitch. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. That's lifted the other way out to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now you got to be frustrated if you're on the mound. You try and go elevated heater right there and blow some cheese by him, and he's able to scramble it and drive it the other way for a base hit. Nice job by the hitter to get the barrel to that baseball. At the plate, Paul Irvin, as he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. A runner at first with no outs here. And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now back, second base. Cesar Hernandez. Stepping up to the plate, Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set and the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. A ball and a strike to the Phillies leadoff man. Third inning, no score to this point. And that one got a piece of him. This is a perfect example of why the slider is such a great pitch and such a dangerous pitch, too. Sometimes it moves so much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result. Gene Segura standing in. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch on its way. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate. That's just a great job to get your mechanics back onto you and establish yourself back in the strike zone. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Runners are at first and second with one away. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Acuna's there for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now that the center fielder. Mark Withenshaw. Coming to the plate now, Mark Withenshaw. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Here comes the first pitch. All in one. Go 
in one. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. The count is 1 and 2. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Phillies leave a couple. Home half of the third coming up. No score. So coming to the plate, number four comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. First delivery to him on the way. Fouled off. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Whoa, up there. A ball and two strikes now. The 1-2. Nope, inside, ball two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And this is in a bit tight, maybe above the letters as well. So it's a full count now, three and two. And he fouls this one off. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. The pitcher, Bob Torres, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. From the stretch. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now back, center fielder, and In the Here's Ender in Ciarte, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Advantage count, 2-0 to the brave center fielder. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Swing and a miss, 2-1. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off-speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Two and two. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. Here now the two two. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Braves are still looking to break into the hit column here. Swing and a liner. And that's the first hit in this one for the Braves. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Many guys fall victim to the breaking ball and want to get out in front of it, and they end up rolling it over to the pull side. Batter was able to execute, stay inside, keep his hands back, and drive it the other way. So up steps Ozzy Albies, standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. 
And they're runners at the corners now. Way to 100 pitches. Here it is. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Gonzalez camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. In now, Freddie Freeman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Come set the 0 1. Well, that's off the plate. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Runners on first and third, two away. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Oh, a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Two left for Atlanta. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring up Bryce Harper. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. First pitch of the at-bat. Too high to start the inning. It's 1-0. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2-1. Sliced hard on the ground. Oh, what a stop on the slide. It's in time. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. Digging in to try it again. Andrew McCutcheon hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Lays off that time and it's one and two. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away. But that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. Ready to deliver the one and two. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. High and deep to right center. Acuna giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Up next for Philadelphia. The third baseman. Marlon Gonzalez. Striding in, Marwin Gonzalez. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. The windup and the 0-1. Let's go. 1 and 1. Hit on the ground to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Ronald Acuna. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0-2. Woo! That was ugly. Howdy! If you're waving at me. Pops this one up. Hoskins just to the right of the mound. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Ozuna is a player referred to as clutch by teammates, coaches, and, of course, the media. He seems to find himself in pressure situations often, and it's hard to find many instances where those moments have gotten the best of him. It just appears he really relishes the big spot. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Inside, ball two. Bullet back up the middle. Withenshaw is there, two gone. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, Batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. So here's Johan Camargo. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And this is popped up. Back behind second. Hernandez will put this one away and the side is retired. Braves are set down one, two, three. Through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. Now in the box, Reese Hoskins. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The first base number 17, Reese Hoskins. First pitch on its way. Ball left side, defense set up perfectly. Oh, what a stop in time. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. So stepping in, Omar Narvaez, a base hit in his first trip. Now here it comes. 
And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. Narvaez, a Venezuelan-born ball player. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. Nope. One strike pitch is a fastball high, and that evens things at one. One out, nobody on. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. Lifted in the air to center field. And Ciarte's there, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, the pitcher, Cole Irvin. So here now is the pitcher, Cole Irvin. He successfully laid down a sack bunt in his last plate appearance. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding, breaking stuff. He executed that sack bunt perfectly. Nope, Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Count even now at one and one. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 1-2. One, he is swung on and missed strike three. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Halfway home, still no score. Stepping in and ready for another shot, number nine comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Number nine. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close, it's a ball and no strikes. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Here's the pitch. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. The one two. Right, two and two. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count three and two. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Gonzalez is up with it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now batting, number four. Stepping in for the Braves, number four. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Here's the pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Nope. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for Atlanta. And it's fouled away. And he got him. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And folks, that is not a misprint. He's been clocked at over 100 miles an hour so far. My goodness. Digging in, Bob Torres. And 
And now pitch on the way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Down in order go the Braves. Sixth inning coming up still zip zip. Riding into the box, Cesar Hernandez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Hit on the ground toward the left. Scooped up. Throw not nearly in time as he reaches it first. Boy, after that base knock right there, d -roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Fly ball right down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. No runs, four hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Very high, two and one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Nobody out, runner on first. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. This is on the ground over to first. And that is into right field, the base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. How about it? Hey, I can't imagine that's a pitch he was looking for right there. But he did his best to keep his nose in there and drive that change up for a base hit. Standing in now, Mark Withenshaw. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Here's the 0-1. Boy, the Phillies have been looking for some offense all game long. They've yet to find it. Let's hope they can find it pretty soon. Here it comes on one and one. One ball and two strikes to count. None out, runners at first and second. Ball two. Ball three. Three and two now. Trouble waiting on deck as Bryce Harper hits next. Drilled right back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. The right field, number three. The and right. now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way after the mound to pay a quick visit. So it's first and second now. 
Nobody out. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. the belt kicks and deals and a high strike to begin the at bat it's 0 and 1 little traffic on the base pass right here but one pitch away from getting a double play and getting right back into control <laughs> 0 and 1 the count of Bryce Harper behind 0 and 2 now Nothing in two count and the pitch. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today and it's really working. Bullet to first base. Throw back to the bag, and the runner's back in time. Now batting, the left fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. He's set. Here it comes. In there, 0 and 1. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. First and second now, one man out. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. And this is on the ground is short. Could be two. Over to Albies. Back to Freeman. Not in time. And they'll just get the one. Great job of hustle there by the base runner. That looked like an easy inning ending double play. Now runners at first and third with two outs. Settling in now, Marwin Gonzalez. 0 for 2 with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. well two balls and a strike. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. The set and the 2 1. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Hit in the air to center field. And Ciarte's there. And that's the third out. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The Phillies lead it one to nothing. Ender and Ciarte will be the next to bat. To start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that quite frankly has been non-existent today. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced 
other than it's been fantastic. We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. On its way is pitch number 75. Hey. One of the biggest factors on how long you're going to go with a start is how many first pitch strikes you throw. 80% usually means you're going to have a pretty good day, and that's on the menu so far. A ball and a strike now to the Atlanta leadoff man. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. The one-two. He swung on and missed strike three. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. In now, Ozzie Albies. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled away. And you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Oh, for two for him to this point. Pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. A ball and two strikes. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Braves are set down 1-2-3. They're down 1-0. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. This is on the ground over to first. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. The pitcher got the result he was looking for. Change up down in the zone, gets him to hit it on the ground. But obviously the result wasn't what he wanted. Here comes the Braves manager out as he'll take that slow walk toward the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. He'll leave after six and at the very least kept his club in it to this point. Ian Anderson takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Stepping in now, Omar Narvaez. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. He's one for two in this one. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at one and one.
Fastball laid off well below the knees. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Acuna is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. The pitcher, number 47, Cole Irvin. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Cole Irvin. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. Sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Cesar Hernandez. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Here comes the first pitch. Ball next in. One and oh, here it is. That's a ball. With two outs and a base open, I don't think he's going to see anything of a hit miss at bat. Not much reason for it. Two balls and a strike to Cesar Hernandez. You know, he fell behind 2 0, Matty, but he battled right there and got right back in this count. An aggressive fastball, middle of the zone. Two and one, here it is. All three. Just off the inside corner, taken for a ball. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. He loses him on ball four. The batter, number two, shortstop, Gene. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. The set and the 1-0. Outside, that's the ball. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. 2-0 count. 2-1 the count. Hey, last two pitches back-to-back -back off speed, then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Here's the 2-1. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Two men are on with two men out. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Digging in and looking for more, Mark Withenshaw. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and he's got to feel super confident right now. He's the only real offense in this game. Guys on the mound have been executing every pitch. First pitch coming, here it is. Now went after the high one there, a swing and a miss. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. And that misses one and one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. And it's 1-2. and two. 
Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Bases are loaded here, two down. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Here's the two and two. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Here's the first pitch to him. Popped him up. Navarez waits on it. Makes the play one away. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop-up to start the inning. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd, foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Center fielder looking up. And that one is gone! So it's a solo shot to dead center. Second home run early in the year. And the Braves have now tied the ball game at one. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. And the next in is Johan Camargo. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. One oh. Hey. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. One out, nobody on. Hit hard towards the hole. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Hey guys, he was obviously trying to bury that slider down and in. Nice execution by the batter right there. Keeping his hands inside and fighting it off for a nice base hit. At the plate now, number nine. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. No hits to this point. The 1-0. Fouled off. The 1-1. Late on that one is it's fouled off to the left side. 
possible go ahead runs on first one away. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. That was a big strikeout there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. So now to the plate, number four. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two-thirds. The 1 0. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. One and one, here it comes. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Two balls and two strikes now to the Braves catcher. And he's got another one here. Twelve punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Braves able to tie things up on this home run. We'll march on to the eighth. All even now at 1-1. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. Due up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the Harper. Board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. This is wide. One ball and one strike. Inside here with the hard stuff, and it's two and one now. And now pitch on the way. Bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. A one pitch on its way. High in the air out towards shallow right. Acuna will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Now batting the third baseman, Marwin Gonzalez. Ready now, Marwin Gonzalez. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1 0. Oh. Two out, nobody on. It's 2 0 oh to Marwin Gonzalez. Three and oh now. Now 
now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Yeah. Three and one. Count it three and one. A good pass at that ball, just a little late, and now the count's full. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a ball hit hard towards center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. He's lucky it's only a single back up the middle and not a double in the gap or a home run. Pitches like that in the show get absolutely hammered. At the plate, Reese Hoskins. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. The set and the 1 0. And that's in there for his strike one and one. One and one. Here it is. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. A good movement bearing in. It's two balls and two strikes. Here's the two and two. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And that ends the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. All tied at one and one. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Jared Eikhoff is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Scott Kingery will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Dansby Swanson is up off the bench as he will pinch hit here in the bottom of the eighth in a tie ball game. A ball and no strikes. And he fouls this one off. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. 1 and 2 now. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. So his day fully over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the Philly starter. He was great all night long. Hey, only allowed three hits in this one. Kept the hitters off balance. It was a lot of fun to watch. Standing in now, Ender Inciarte. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and Eikhoff, a 6-foot, 4-inch right-hander. He was selected in the 15th round back in 2011. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Sky down the left field line. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. At the plate, Ozzy Albies. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Uh, started to go down after it and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Now 
Albies with a one and one count now. Two out, nobody on. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Braves. Still tied, one apiece. Chris Russell will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Ready for another shot now, Omar Narvaez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch coming, here it is. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball and it's still 0-2. Try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Ground ball right side. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The first baseman, number four, got Henry. And in steps Scott Kingery. In previous meetings against Chris Russon, he's hitless in three at-bats. Here's the first pitch to him. Good pitch on the black. That was the sinker for a strike. You got to love guys auto-taking you oh oh if you're on the mound. You could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. The wind-up and the 0-1. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called the strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. To the plate now, Cesar Hernandez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Oh, one pitch coming. Softly hit out to short. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Phillies down in order. Score remains tied one to one. Play. Freddie Freeman not providing much out of the three hold in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Here comes the first pitch. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, you gotta get ahead. Count leverage is a must. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. 
Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The one two. Is looked at for ball number two. This is skied out toward right. Harper has a read on it. One down. Digging in, Ronald Acuna. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss, 0-1. They've done a real nice job keeping this guy into wraps in this one. No hits for him so far, and what stands out to me is they're going right after him. They're not pitching him like they're afraid he's going to do any damage. Bases are empty, one man out. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now at the plate, Marcelo Zuna. He's working on a one for three thus far. Going back to that last A-B, that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. Strike one to start the at-bat. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Down 0-2, maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. Bases are empty here with two men out. Yanked hard, but foul to the right. Now a fastball here that will wisely lay off, and it's one and two. A hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Two and two to Marcelo Zuna. This one misses and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0-2, started nipping at the corners, and next thing you know, this count stands at 3-2. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Two out, nobody on. And another foul ball. Here's the payoff pitch. Check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. So they can't get that winning run home, and that means we'll have to go a little longer tonight to find a winner. Nine can't decide a winner. We'll move ahead to the tenth, all tied at one and one. So next to the plate for the Phils, Gene Segura. He'll be the one to lead it off here in the top of inning number ten. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Now the 1-0. -oh. Hey. Clips the corner of the zone with the sinker for a strike. Yep. One and two. 
And that misses two and two. Now here's the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Albies is calling for it. Makes the play one away. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Into the box now, Mark Withenshaw. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Ball one to start the at-bat. The 1-0. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. Now the 2-0. That's lifted the other way out to left. Ozuna is under it. Two gone. Up next for Philadelphia. The right fielder, Bryce Harper. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one. High in the air out to center field. Ian Ciarte's there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Score remains deadlocked at one. Stepping into the box, Johan Camargo steps in to get the home side started here in the 10. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Ground ball foul down the left side. A one one. Line toward the gap in left center. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Love the approach right there to get on base with a leadoff knock. To start the bottom of the 10. They don't want this game to go any farther than this. They want to end it right now. Let's see how the manager plays this. Into the box now, number nine. And he'll try and get that winning run into scoring position as he puts this one down. And the throw is late at first, so they can't get anybody out. Ready for another chance, number four. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. First pitch here is softly hit down the line to third. And they will get, no, he's in there. A very close play at first. And yeah, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. Possible winning run 90 feet away with nobody out. Now a 
curve ball, but he might have flown open a bit. It's one and one. The one and one pitch. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Now a ball hit sharply toward third. And he'll take it to the bag for the out. And there's your unassisted double play. And we'll get a look one more time here as we slow this play down. And you can see how quickly he reacts to the ball there as he's able to get full extension and take away the base hit. Standing in, Ender Inciarte. He bats with two outs and the winning run at second. Here's the first pitch. Count one and oh. Hit softly down the line at first. Throw on to first, and we are going to the 11th inning. So they pick up no runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left on base. And we'll have to cancel those dinner reservations, partner. 11th inning coming up, all tied at 1-1. One and one. Michael Feliz takes the mound to start the 11th inning. Number 45, Michael Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. First offering on its way. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. One and one to Andrew McCutcheon. One and one, here it comes. Hard ground ball to third. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. Now batter, the pitcher, Jared. Nick Williams come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Number five, Nick Williams. Fastball in there for a called strike. Go ahead run at first, nobody out. Fouled away. Now the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive. And I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball right there. He decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. At the plate now, Reese Hoskins. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. There's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. For the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And a dive, but he's back in. Oh, 
The one and one pitch. Fouled off. Now the one and two pitch. It looked like the fastball got away from him there. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. And this will bounce over the wall out there, and that's going to keep this a tie ball game as that go-ahead run will need to stop over at third. Well, I do wonder if that ball stays in the ballpark, do they send him home there? It's really hard to say with the ball bouncing over the wall for a double. That might have cost them a run there. In now, Omar Narvaez. Nope, at the ball. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Well, this is a strikeout situation, but it's also a ground ball situation. I expect we'll see a lot of pitches down in the zone trying to prevent the hitter from getting the ball up in the air. Second and third here, one man out. Lays off the fastball away, and it's 2-0. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitter's counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitcher's pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. I'm no pitching coach, but it doesn't look like he's finishing his pitches here. That misses high, ball three. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Swung on and chopped down the line at first but foul. Runners are at second and third with one down. Popped him up. Camargo in foul ground. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Great scoring opportunity now miss that, right there. The you talk game. about frustration. God. Popping it up with two runners in scoring position. He'd like to get that one back. So a big moment in the ball game here. Scott Kingery as he'll hit with the go-ahead run at third and two away. And it appears they're going to give him the intentional walk here. So now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. Now batting. The so day. the Phillies batting order Cesar. turns over and set to go. Cesar Hernandez. He was a ground out victim last time up. Here's the first pitch. Hey, when a pitcher's put in a tough spot, he's usually going to go to what got him here, and that's this guy's slider. Expect to see that more often. And it's quickly 0-2. Oh and two here it is swinging a ball hit on the ground he'll come to the plate with it and they get the force at home whatever works as the side is retired Phillies leave them loaded still tied one apiece. Zach Eflin takes over now to start the home 11th and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12th. Set now for the bottom of the 11th and standing in is the power hitting second baseman Ozzy Albies. Here's the first pitch to him. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Started at the front hip and bring it back. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Nope. 
If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Lays off the slider that time, 2-1. Fastball well outside. Freddie Freeman there. He'll hit next. A three and one pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another payoff pitch. Swing and a high pop-up toward the stands behind third. But this will land untouched. Possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Coming to the plate now, Freddie Freeman. The winning run is at first base. Here's the first pitch. Albies is on the move. In there, now the throw. He is in time. Navarez throws him out. Well, he showed a lot of patience to work out that walk, but it got erased pretty quickly. Always hate to give outs away on the base pass, especially when you've gotten on base for free. One out, nobody on. Left side, but well fouled. Here it comes. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. The one two. To two balls and two strikes now. Bases are empty, one man in. Three and two now. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them, and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. Back goes Harper. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ronald Acuna. First offering on its way. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Swing and a hot shot towards the hole. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. Hey, that's a nice piece of hitting right there. Two-out base knock to put the winning run on base. Let's see if someone can catch a gap and end this thing.
at the plate, Marcelo Zuna, as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. Curveball, swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. Ready with the 0-2. And, and on 0-2, he misses 20. with a fastball. High fastball right there with a two-strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. That misses and we're even at two and two. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Runners off for second. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. The 2-2. Rounded down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Eleven innings in the books now, all tied at one and one. Mark Melanson gets the ball as he'll take over to start this twelfth inning. Number 43. Digging in once again, Gene Segura. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A ball of no strikes. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen. And this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. Now the pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Ball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Pitch on the way. Ah, uh, got him swinging on the split finger pitch, and that's out number one. Programming note to pass along here: due to the length of our ball game tonight, the Jody Kelsey Show will not be seen this evening, so that we can bring you the conclusion of this ball game. Dog gone. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Mark Withenshaw. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. Lays off 1-0. Oh. Now it looks like the Braves are going to get a lefty up and throwing in their bullpen. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. That swung on and missed. We're even at 1-1. One one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Not much you could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Lays off two and two now. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch. 
after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. One out, nobody on. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Bryce Harper will be next. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially in extra innings. He didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk. We'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Bryce Harper, trying to avoid the dreaded hat trick here. He's 0 for 5, all told. Here's the first pitch. Ball one, no play. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just to give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Strike taken, the throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Now the 2-1. It's a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Again, another foul ball. Ready with another two strike offering. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that 3 2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Here's the first pitch. Runners are at first and second with one away. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. The one and one pitch. Oh, 
And he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. Acuna going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Withenshaw heads for the plate. And a relay home. He's safe at the plate. And deep into extra innings, they have taken the lead. Well, this ends up being a sack fly, but you've got to love the effort out there. Sacrificed his body to make that catch, and I'll tell you, that didn't feel good. Probably saved extra bases by making that play. Zach Collins will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. And a ball, 1-0. Counts 1-0. Cut fastball and it's by him one and one. Two out with the man at first. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. There's strike two as it catches the outside corner. Skied into straightaway right. Acuna's there for it. And that's the third out. So they scratch across a run here on no hits, no errors, and a man left. And now we'll see if what's left of this crowd can rally their troops. Bottom of the 12th inning coming up. Philadelphia is on top, 2-1. to one. David Robertson enters from the pen now as they've saved their closer until this deep into extra innings. Bottom of the 12th inning now. And next will be the switch hitting third baseman, Johan Camargo. third baseman, Johan. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. You'll hear me say this time after time up here in the booth. You fight so hard to get into these counts. 1-0, 2-0, 3-1. They don't happen often. This is a huge spot. Count leverage. Look for him to get loose on a fastball right here. Hoskins gathers it in, and the throw to first is in time, one gun. Now battle, number nine. Now to the plate, number nine. He's one for four for the game. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And that misses ball one. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. is one and two now. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man in. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Always tough for one of these base no, umpires no. to make a call on a guy's no. check swing. It's not a great angle, and everything happens so quickly, so they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right, so that's a tip of the cap for the blue. 
Robertson's ready. First pitch on its way. Number four is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. On oh, a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. I mean, that's a classic case of coming off your backside right there. He lost his entire back leg, was out in front, couldn't keep his hands back. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Yeah, doubled up on the slider away there. Got him to go after it before, so why not see if he'll offer at it again? Final strike for the Braves. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Waters will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number twelve. And he gets ahead 0-1. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Here comes the 0-1. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. A runner on first with two away. There's a cold strike as he nips the corner. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. So the lineup flips over and digging in Ender Inciarte as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery.
struck him out. So he'll strand the possible tying run at second and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Man, that was definitely a hard-earned victory, but that's what's going to make it even more satisfying. They take it in 12 innings on the road, and it's all smiles now. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. Zach Eflin gets the win in relief, his second of the year. David Robertson earns the save out of the bullpen, his third of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Wachney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.